And as always, I have also placed a link in the description down below if you'd like to look at this millimeter further or acquire one for yourself. And here's what the VC 480C Plus looks like and I have set it next to my voltmeter so you can get an idea of size, it is quite portable. Now before I go into the details of how it actually works and what it can do for us, I do want to very quickly introduce you to what the milliohm advantage is. And a milliohm meter is going to give you more information than a standard voltmeter when it comes to measuring ohms. As you can see, I have a 2 ohm resistor connected to my multimeter and I can see that it shows the resistance as being 2.5 ohms. And the reason why it shows 2.5 instead of 2.0 is because it's also measuring the resistance across the leads all the way up to the device that is tested. So the longer these leads are, the more our reading is going to be distorted by the length of these wires. Also notice that we can only see 100th of an ohm. In this case, we can see 2.5, 2.0. But what if I wanted to know if it was 2.51? then there is no way to know because there are no more zeros around here. And that's where this device comes in because it's going to allow us to see milliohms. So it's going to allow us to see one, two, three digits after the dot versus only one digit. Now there are some applications that are going to benefit from this and there are going to be cases where the use of this is going to be overkill and a voltmeter is enough. So let's look at the milliometer first before I show you some cool demonstrations. So one of the first things you'll notice is that we have four banana plug connections in here because a million meter uses four wires instead of two wires to measure resistance and that allows the million meter to eliminate the resistance of the wire length itself so not only do we have increased digits after the dot we also can take out the wiring that's going all the way to our device under test which means we will get an accurate true resistance reading and as far as the range this million meter can go all the way to two thousand ohms and can go as low as 20 milli ohms a tremendous amount of range for measuring a small resistance and the vc 480c plus is portable because it's powered by six AA batteries that are mounted in the rear of the unit however we can also power it with a nine volt adapter which is an optional adapter is not included but i like how the cap is tied in here sometimes these little accessories get lost and i like when they do things like this to make our life easier well let's find this up so we can take a look at the screen as you can see the screen is fairly large so it's going to be very easy to read these numbers and we also have a backlight which is going to be great if we're working on an area that is kind of dimly lit we also have a hold button which means when we take a measurement if we press that hold button it's going to hold that measurement on the screen even after we disconnect the device under test now let me show you what this actually can do when connected to something and on the left hand side i have my standard multimeter connected to my 2 ohm resistor and it shows that as measuring 2.3 ohms fairly close but what if I wanted to get a little bit closer in terms of the reading well on the left hand side I have my milliohm meter and I have my four wire clips or also known as Kelvin clips and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this bad boy and we'll connect that in here so see if we can get a better closer reading at the actual resistance of this and what do you know if you see now is not 2.3 like our multimeter showed us it's actually 1.99 ohms so we are able to see that yeah this is actually really close to 2 where this said it was a little bit further than 2. and here's another demonstration of the advantage of a milliohm meter versus a voltmeter as you can see this piece of wire which happens to be a 14 gauge measures about 2.2 2.1 now I have an identical piece of wire right here of the same length and if I were to measure that it's going to give me a reading of about 2.2 so about the same as that one and you may say well that's exactly what you would expect two pieces of wire both at 14 gauge and both of the same length should measure the same thing but here's the gotcha I actually cut off a lot of the strands on this end right here so as you can see this is intact in here I removed about half of the copper which is something that can happen when we strip a wire Oop. If we lose strands, now the size of the wire has been damaged and the performance of this is reduced, especially if we're sending power or amperage through here. This can potentially heat up or even burn up. And as you saw, the voltmeter was not able to detect 
that this one has higher resistance than this one because of the loose strands. Now let's see if our milliometer can pick that difference up. And here's the milliometer with the same 14 gauge wire, the one that is not damaged. And we can see that it actually measures very low resistance, a mere 0.73 milliohms extremely low and here i have connected the wire where i cut off a lot of the copper on one end and you can see that in fact it does have higher resistance the other one measured 0.74 this one is settling somewhere in 0 0.98 0 0.99 and once again i have my wire the one that is not damaged connected and we can see that we have very low resistance and this is the reason why when we strip a wire we have to be extremely careful that we don't damage or cut the strands because if we cut the strands we increase increase the resistance and we effectively affect the performance of this wire. We said this guy right here is a 14 gauge and by cutting some of the strands of the other end it behaves now like a 16 gauge and here's the 16 gauge connected as you can see it has the performance of the 14 gauge with the cut strands so we always want to avoid cut strands or any kind of wire just because something beeps out on the end doesn't mean that it's going to work out when we're actually put current through it and that's the advantage of the milliohmmeter versus the standard voltmeter and some other uses of the milliohmmmeter in automotive applications will be to check motor generators some service manuals are actually calling now for a milliohmmmeter and specifically the Hayoki one which is a very expensive milliohmmmeter but the home mechanic is probably going to be able to get away with a meter like this because this can give us enough resolution to be able to determine if a part is good or not and it also can be used to measure motor coils and transfer Transformers, and if you're a hobbyist it can be used to identify parts such as resistors and other components where the voltmeter is not going to give us enough resolution to be able to tell what their actual value is. So not only do I like this milliohmmeter because of the affordable price, I also like it because of the range of the measurements that it can take and because it uses a standard Kevin plugs or standard Kevin clips which means if these things ever get damaged or fail I can buy other ones. They don't have to be the VC brand this will accept a standard milli ohm meter leaks and another neat thing that they included is this little carrying strap so you can attach this and carry this around your neck perhaps if you are out in the field and then you can also cover it up when you are not using it and this thing becomes quite protected in this case that's pretty cool and it does come with this very simple easy to read instruction manual in full English which walks you through the process of how it actually works and how you can calibrate it and its full specifications and if you guys have any other questions regarding the VC 480C plus milliohmmeter please put that in the comments down below and remember I have also placed a link in the description if you want to acquire one of the systems for yourself or if you just want to look at it further before making a decision if you found any part of this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button to support the channel. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll see you on the next one.